vacation day. We are going to Anacortes, which is really close to the San Juan Islands. It's possibly gonna rain, so the main thing I wanna see when we're out is Deceptions Pass. <laughs> It's apparently like a beautiful view. You can get really high up and see the bridge in the water. So that's what we're gonna try to go do. We're about to drop off Booger. He just got a bath. And then we're gonna go. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see where we're staying. Oasis for the next couple of days. I'm so excited. This is like really cool. <laughs> Look at it. I bet it gets so Christmassy. In a quarter of a mile, the destination is on your left. I kind of want to do village pizza later. Okay. We can do our nice dinner tomorrow. Look at that. Union Tavern. Well, that place is fancy. Ooh, let's get it like a pizza to go and then just go like hang out. <sighs> Finally, a moment to relax. <laughs> Found this place on Airbnb and it's called the Ship House Inn. And <laughs> look at this. It's got the cutest details around it. And all these cool old pictures. So like nautical themed. Like how cute. You get a little sink with a little fridge. You even have like a little stove top if you want to make yourself some mac and cheese. I love the like details of these everywhere. I don't even know where you buy these. <laughs> I'm curious. So this is the view like out your window. I love it. And then I just went to the little galley. If you go around the corner, there's a kitchen and they have um, a cereal bar set up and like coffee and stuff like that you can make for yourself in the morning. A little, little more kitchen, kitcheny things. And so I just grabbed a couple of little bowls for the dogs, for their food, and some water. You got two little rocking chairs. It's supposed to rain the whole time we're here, but we're Seattle people. Rain don't stop nobody from nothing. Oh, and I haven't even shown you guys the best part. Look at my pants. Look at my pants. <laughs> they are so comfy. And I have on my uh, thrifted rag and bone top with it and a little mustard belt. And then I was wearing my jean jacket over top of that. Now it's getting toasty in here. I have to turn that back down. I'm going to relax. I'm gonna put some groceries away. I got a few things. I got myself a bottle of wine. Because you know I'm on vacation, I'll be drinking that wine. I got some fruit. Some popcorn. Oh yeah, my favorite pumpkin beer. Got some oatmeal cookies. Down. Some crisp thins. I'm so full. We had those sandwiches from that place. Um, what was it called? Ghirardelli. Yeah, and it was so good. What else? I think that's it. I need to find a way to make it to where they can get up and down off the bed because they're used to being on the bed with us. <laughs> we need a steppy stool. How you like it, Venti? How you like it, Tissy? You having fun in your new place? They don't understand what's going on. This is why this is your first trip somewhere and you've got to figure it out. He's been whining. He's never stayed anywhere else, so he doesn't know what the hell's going on. The light keeps turning really blue. <gasps> it's kind of like twilight. Okay, I'm done talking. Uh, I dozed off there for a minute and I do not regret it. Did you have a good nappy too? Did you have a good nap? Look at how cute he is. 
Are you awake, sissy? How was your nap? You can just kind of see the boats going by. What if I see a whale? There's like a little faux fireplace too that you can like crank on. It makes a kind of comforting sound. Thank you, Vinci. Thank you. He's a cute baby. Are you a cute little baby? Do to go outside? It was a windstorm with rain last night. It was intense. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Started to have dreams that this place like slid off the cliff. It was so windy. And this place is like one story so you can hear the rain hitting the roof. It was really cozy actually. <laughs> I actually like that I'm showing what it looks like when it's a little angry. <laughs> Cause that's the reality. This is Lyle's new arm frickin' pit tattoo. Do you recommend getting one? No. <laughs> Did it hurt like shit? Not while I was getting it, but the aftermath is fucked. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It looks good though. I think my theory was because when you get tattooed anywhere else, it doesn't rub up against anything because it's just flat on your skin and so you just can let it air out, but with it in your armpit, you have to shut your arm. Because you can't walk around with your arm up in the air forever. And so it just like press, kept pressing on it. And then there's like your sweat pores. So if you get hot, it probably makes it sting. Yeah, it sucks. It's the <laughs> really worst feeling. The worst tattoo you've ever gotten? It's the worst tattoo aftermath, if that makes sense. Yeah, like, the worst healing feeling. Not aftermath, but aftercare. How was your first night in a strange place, Pop Pop? They were fine. Yeah, they slept well. Got up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Just have to go out though. Wait for this to clear up. So all those clouds are supposed to go away so we have a clear view. the entire thing and honestly the issue isn't going across to me it was turning around and trying to come back I couldn't like turn around I get so dizzy <laughs> I just faced a fear I just faced a fear I have really bad vertigo and like height with heights like I get dizzy like it's gonna pull me over your mom has the same thing we we're just talking about it it feels like it's gonna like draw you in Pretty though, goodness. Well, the sun has finally decided to come out, but we came back because we were hungry. So, dang it. <laughs> but I just took a shower, my hair's still wet. I'm kind of like halfway done with my makeup. The plan is that we're going to be going to Burlington, which is just about 20 minutes down the road from here. And that's why we're staying in Anacortes is because it's just like, I mean, I mean, <laughs> Burlington is not next to the water. I can't decide what to wear. 
made the bed. Puppies are sleeping. We went for a walk. Oh, I said the word. Video. Okay. Nightly catch up. We just got back from our history in tattoo. Or, she can get up here. She knows how to get up here. Don't even play. So we found out a lot of really cool things about history of Japanese art and bodysuits and like where we are, how we got to be the way we are in J from Japan to America. And there were some really cool facts in there, like the fact that, oh, I learned that the amount of toes on a dragon is um, significant to what part of the world you're from and what your social standing is. So like only emperors were allowed to have five toed and then normal society can have three. That was wrong, but it's cool. I was asking for help the whole time. I don't remember. Well, how can you say it's wrong if you don't remember? Well. <laughs> I almost didn't go because I was having a panic attack. I don't mind talking about that. I got nervous. I've conquered two fears today. One of them being, I hate heights. Insert clip of me shit my pants trying to walk across the decession pass bridge. Oh God. Oh God. These two dudes behind me were like, Go ahead. I was like, nah, you guys go. They're like, no, no, it's okay. We're not in a hurry. And I was like, but I'm going to go really slow. And then they were like, yeah, we're going to pass you. It was, it was more about like, I can get halfway onto the bridge. And then the moment I had to like look back, I got like dizzy and I felt like the bridge was trying to pull me over it. It's weird. It's like a magnet. It feels like it's making you want to go oof, like right over the side. So that was one thing I conquered today was that heights fear. And then the other thing was, I don't like going, I don't like classroom atmosphere feelings. I get really nervous, but that was like a totally comfortable environment. Just people sitting around wanting to learn about the history of tattoo art. Okay, I'm done, skis. Good night, until tomorrow. We're just milking the clock <laughs> at this point. Mm. Rocking chairs are soothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the dogs love it. I'm gonna head into the downtown area and see if they have any cute little shops with fun souvenirs that we can take home with us. never just like Hush. driven right onto a ferry. Like you pull up and you just go right on it. Hey!
made it. It dumped rain on the way back. Look at my hair. We got Boogie back. The Boogie is back. Back and in position. And the Diddles are so pumped to be home. They've been wrestling pretty hard this whole time. They're pumped. We're stoked to be home and I am done with this video. I hope you guys had fun watching it. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the next one.